right, so what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba, and welcome back to another insane story. So this story takes place back when I was in high school, and I remember this was one of the most embarrassing but most scariest times of my life. And if you guys saw the title of this story, yes, this is actually a true story. And no, I do not fake my stories. I don't know why this keeps getting spread around. Why would I fake a story about my life if I lived it? Sorry. Anyways, going on with the story, I remember this all takes place back when I was in high school. It was my grade 11 year, and I remember basically me and my friends were all planning on going to the pool. But we weren't going to the pool just because we wanted to. Funny enough, we were going to the pool because a girl the week before ended up coming up to me in class saying, hey, Bubba, I was wondering, like, my stepdaddy, like, made me move up to the hills with my mom and her. And, like, my parents got, like, a brand new, like, pool and stuff. And we're having, like, a crazy pool party with, like, a new sauna and everything that was set up there. I was wondering if you wanted to go because, like, you already know all the girls are going to be pulling up and stuff. And, like, it would be cool for you to be there and stuff, if you know what I mean. I remember I looked at her and I told her that I would only go in one condition and I could bring some of the homies along because you already know I'm for the boys. You know what I mean? Not meaning I'm gay. Like I'm literally just like homies. It's a bro code. You guys will understand eventually. And then I remember basically after that day, she agreed to let the boys come along because her parents were okay with it, which is awesome. And then I remember I went to go on Xbox to tell the boys and then they all started kind of panicking, freaking out, but at the same time excited. Two of the boys wanted to go. One of the boys were on like a fence about it because they were thinking it was a bad idea. And then one of the guys said no. Apparently the guy said no because apparently a girl that was going there had a boyfriend that really hated one of my guy friends. But honestly, I told him everything was going to be fine, but he still refused to go. Now, reminder, this girl's boyfriend that hates my friend, he's a very key part of the story. So just remember him, please. Anyways, I remember basically me and all my friends, we ended up getting all dressed up. We all got ready, wore our swimsuits and drove down to this girl's house. And when I said her stepdaddy was rich, her stepdaddy was loaded. Like no joke. I remember when we were going into the driveway and parking the car, we saw two Two Mercedes Benzes in C class, and one of them was a Ferrari, like a brand new Ferrari. I don't know why. Ugh, I guess I want a stepdaddy. I don't know. And then afterwards, I remember we all ended up going inside the house, and as we were, we were all looking around, being amazed by everything that was there. And then as we were looking around the house, I remember this girl's mom that invited us in the first place ended up coming down the stairs saying, Oh, you must be some of her friends. Well, she's outside right now in the back of the pool, so just go down this way. We went out there. I remember we basically saw a bunch of girls tanning and all this stuff. And I remember I ended up walking up to one of the girls that invited us in the first place. I walked up to her saying, yo, like I just got here. Yo, nice place. This actually looks awesome. And she started flexing about her daddy and how she, you know, he won like a lottery or something. I have no idea. Just started talking about her daddy. And then afterwards, I remember I ended up standing up and looking around and seeing that this pool party was getting more crowded by the minute. Like no joke. There was a lot of people coming in. And it got to the point where almost a hundred people were there. It was actually really nice. And it was a really big house up in the hills. So it could fit all of us really nicely. We all started walking around with our fruit punch because obviously I don't promote underage drinking. And yeah, I basically was just swimming, having a good time. But then out of nowhere, I remember I ended up turning my head once I got out of the water and I looked around and I saw her. Now there was one girl in my high school that I was madly in love with, I guess. Like I said in all my videos, I'm a helpless romantic. And I remember I saw a girl that I had a massive crush on and she ended up showing up at the pool party. And she was in her bikini showing her massive cherries and massive peach and going inside the water and I remember I really wanted to swim up to her and kind of just introduce myself and say hey, hi and all this cool stuff. I remember I didn't want to just walk up to her because obviously that's embarrassing. So I need to find a way that I could bump into her. Because like I said in my last video of my first crush, for some reason, I'm a really helpless romantic, meaning I like to do things in a weird scenario, in a weird gesture. So I remember I ended up finding the nearest ball that was near me and I ended up telling my friend, yo, throw this towards that direction as hard as you can. He ended up looking at me saying, okay, sure. I'll just throw it towards that girl. Not weird at all. Sure. And then after he started chucking it over there and me, I, well, jumped in the water and landed literally on her amazing cherries on purpose. Well, in her eyes, it was an accident, but for me, it was on purpose. She ended up looking at me saying, oh my goodness, is this your ball? And I'm like, yeah, those are my balls. I mean, ball. Yeah. Uh, uh, thanks. Wait, aren't you like in my class? And then she looked at me saying, oh yeah, like we have uh, the same teacher for science. And I'm like, oh yeah, like it's cool to see you. I don't know. I basically just made a conversation starter and it worked. Me and her started talking throughout the day and we started drinking more pun. Punch. YouTube, I'm saying punch, nothing else. And yeah, it was actually a pretty cool time. But then came later on. I remember me and this girl, we were eventually just sitting down on the poolside talking about life and stuff. And then afterwards, for some reason, the girl that invited me to the party decided to invite one of the football players at our school. Except this football player had the same crush as I did and made things really, really awkward for me. Like no joke, he ended up going to the pool and literally jumping over me as I was sitting on the poolside with this girl and literally said, can 
cannonball over a loser. And basically did a cannonball over him. It was kind of impressive. I'll give him that, but it was embarrassing and really dumb. Anyways, going on with the story, I remember basically he just kept embarrassing me, making fun of me, and he would always just jump into the conversation, not really being a good bro. You know what I mean? Because let's just say this guy did not follow the bro code at all. Because all this guy would do is just eavesdrop in our conversation, join in, make fun of me about the conversation we're having, and then start talking better about himself. It became so annoying to the point where I remember I looked at him saying, dude, no one cares. Who asked? Weird champ, Andy. And I walked away. As I walked away, though, literally this girl recognized that this guy was being a total doofus. So she ended up standing up and actually following me. And me, I was headed towards one place where I knew I could relax. And that's a sauna. Now, this is where the story gets really scary. And the title of the story starts making sense. I remember I ended up going inside the sauna and I started sitting in there going on my phone, just chilling. But then afterwards, out of nowhere, this girl ends up following up behind me saying, hey, like, wait for me. And we ended up sitting in the sauna together. She literally sits in the sauna with me. We start talking and stuff. And one thing led to another. Me and her got pretty romantic. And by this, I mean, yes, she started putting her hand on my thighs, sitting on my lap. And then I ended up getting bricked. And yeah, I think you guys know the rest. I ended up doing the devil's tango with her in the sauna. Now, if you guys thought people were going to walk into the sauna, no, not many people enjoyed the sauna in our high school party for some reason. So it was only me and this girl that were in there. And me and her, we were sweating up a storm. Like it was actually doing really good. We were in there for like almost half an hour. And I looked at her saying, all right, we should probably get out of here. And as I look at the door, I literally see the creepy football player that was super annoying, just staring at us doing the devil's tango. Now, at this point, I get embarrassed and I'm like, yo, dude, like chill. I end up covering my towel. And then what this guy decides to do is lock the door. Yeah, this guy literally locked us in the sauna and the sauna controls were literally outside of the sauna itself. So I remember I start panicking and I'm like, oh my goodness, wait, he locked us in here. I remember this girl starts freaking out, slamming on the door and crying as much as she could. But me, I remember I basically looked at her saying, hey, listen, don't worry. I have an idea. I remember I looked around and I saw the window. There was a window in the sauna so you can kind of like get a cool view of like the back like hills and stuff because it was like on top of the hill so you could like see like a really cool mountain view. And I basically started looking out there and trying to find a way that we could, you know, turn down the temperature. Because, you know, being locked in a sauna is actually really dangerous. And luckily for me, we didn't have the temperature that high up. We only had it at like, I want to say 85 degrees Celsius. And the world record was held back in 2003, funny enough, for only being in a sauna for 16 minutes and 15 seconds. So if we were in there longer than that with a higher temperature, we would have been dead. So me thinking out of the box, I remember I started looking around the sauna. As I was looking around, I realized that I saw a tagline on the heating vents that were, you know, a part of the sauna that really brought the heat into the sauna was built in 2016. Meaning that it was a fairly new built machine. Meaning that these weren't real rocks or the heating vents weren't actually real heat. I mean, it was real heat, but they weren't real coal rocks like they do back in Japan or anywhere they have sauna. Because most saunas use real coal or real heating. I don't know. It's a weird science, but me being MacGyver, I basically figured out what to do. And I ended up going to the heating vents and finding a plug and unscrewing the plugs and unscrewing the sauna. Meaning I literally took a part a heating vent basically so that's really how you name it in short terms i was trying to really sound science and technical there but i was just making fun of myself really but after i unplugged it i remember basically i ended up looking around and i saw that at the window the butler was nearby so i ended up looking at the butler and staring him down and for some reason one thing i learned in science class is that when someone's staring at you you can feel someone staring at you so this butler ended up looking around seeing who was staring at him and he ended up seeing me he saw me in there and i remember he ended up looking at the door being curious of why i was locked and then coming up to us and opening the door. I remember when that happened, the butler opened the door. The girl ran out of there as fast as she could saying, oh my goodness, that was so scary. And she started freaking out, panicking, leaving. And as for me, I just walked out of there normally and the butler looked at me saying, are you right, sir? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, man. And I ended up leaving, getting my car because I was dry as hell, getting as much air as I can in my body and basically leaving to go home. And that was basically it. So if you guys enjoyed the story, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have already. And like I always say, I fall for more embarrassing but crazy stories. All right, peace out, guys.